Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gin Sense. Let's say you have Tom Ford taste, and that extends to fragrances as well as clothing, but you have TJ Maxx budget. Yeah, we all know how that is. Now I can't help you with the Tom Ford clothing, but I can help you with the Tom Ford fragrance. Today I've got an alternative for this one, Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, that's gonna cost you about 10% the cost of the Tom Ford, and it's this one, Mason Alhambra's Bright Peach. So let's check it out. Guys, I will have these both linked in the description below. Feel free to check them out down there. As I said, Bright Peach is gonna cost you about 10% the cost of Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. But we'll just use that as kind of a, a catch-all, about 10%. And you do have to hand it to Mason Alhambra because this is one of the most blatant <laughs> rip-off copies of a fragrance that I have ever seen. Now, of course, uh, Bitter Peach over here is looking svelte and sophisticated and frankly pricey, and Bright Peach is looking a little bit plump and Momo-ish, but yeah. Like if these two were in a movie, this one over here would be the brains and the sophisticated one, as I said, and this guy over here would be the brawn. Let's check out the presentation really quickly. Yeah, take a look at that box. That is just blatantly trying to look like Tom Ford, but you know, at least they're not hiding it. They're letting you know, yeah, man, that's exactly what this is. So you have the name of the house, name of the fragrance, the size and concentration right there on the front. It is an 80 mil size bottle, Eau de Parfum concentration, Maison Alhambra logo up top on the back. You have your ingredients and your sticker of authenticity, very important. And then on the bottom, you have your badge code and barcode. And that's where you can see right there that this is actually just good old Latafa perfumes. Maison Alhambra, no, Maison Latafa. Opens up like so and your bottle sits right down inside there. All things considered, it's actually really nicely done. And here we have the bottle. Again, very Tom Ford-esque. Name of the house, name of the fragrance, and the concentration on the front there. On top, it says Maison Alhambra, and uh, that's pretty much it, other than the sticker on the bottom. And the cap slides snugly into place. Let's say you and I share a couple sprays here. Let's check out the atomizer. Here we go. Not too bad. So as I said, this is gonna run you about 10% the cost of the Tom Ford. Bitter Peach retails for $250 for the 50 ml size bottle. This one you can find at Fragrance Buy, which is where I bought mine from, for about $26 US and some change, depending on the conversion rate at the time that you make the purchase. So it could go a little bit down, could go a little bit up, but it's gonna be right around uh, that price point. Now, Bitter Peach is slightly divisive. Uh, some people don't think that it's worth the money, but I do like it a lot. I think that it smells great. I'm a big fan of peach notes and fragrances in general, and my wife loves it too. So I was interested to check out Bright Peach. I bought this one, and then also the Neroli Portofino clone by Maison Alhambra, but I haven't opened that one up yet. But really, I wanted to see, can they nail Bitter Peach? Can they make an alternative that really you know, makes it a fragrance that anybody should scoop up or everybody should scoop up. So I will tell you, Bright Peach is not a one-to-one -one with Bitter Peach. This is actually uh, more what it says on the label, whereas Bitter Peach is smoother and does have that little undertone, that little bitter undertone to it, and also has a little more depth a little more going on with the fragrance itself as it evolves. Bitter Peach is that. Bright Peach is, well, it's Bright Peach. Basically what they've done is they've taken the peach in the opening and ramped it up. And actually, to my nose, ramped it up pretty considerably. In Bright Peach, the peach comes across almost candied. Like those peach gummy rings, it's got something like that going on. That was me squeezing a gummy ring, <laughs> I don't know. So whereas with Bitter Peach, you have some underlying florals that, again, give more depth, more body to the fragrance. And you also have cashmere and tonka, notes like that coming out as it dries down that give it more of this soft warmth. And while Bitter Peach definitely has a prominent peach note to it, I mean, if it didn't, the name would make no sense. Bright Peach basically looked at that whole note breakdown, the whole way the fragrance evolves, and they were like, you know what? Take this and this and this and just throw that away and then pour some peach syrup on top. That'd be cool. And that's what they did. They made it very much a peach forward that is a candy peach alternative 
to bitter peach. So it may not smell as interesting to some people in the sense that there's not as big of an evolution, different things happening as the fragrance dries down as compared to bitter peach. It has been candified, sugared up compared to bitter peach. And uh, actually for me, the peach note itself lasts longer in bright peach off my skin than bitter peach. Bitter peach fairly quickly starts to work into those other notes that I mentioned, whereas bright peach lingers on the peach for much longer into the mid. And even little wafts of that peachiness make it into the dry down with bright peach, where there's frankly even more sweetness from honey this time and a little bit of cognac, which also is shared in bitter peach. And you do pick up a bit of that here as well, but bright peach is basically simplifying the idea of bitter peach and boosting the sweetness all the way through. I have seen some people say that bright peach is a little bit too heavy, that it can get a little bit powdery as it dries down and that it's like a bit too dense. And compared to bitter peach, that could be an issue for you because bitter peach, as I said, is going to be smoother. It's going to have more body, more depth to it, but the way that it is done is softer overall. Like bright peach is much more like something uh, used for wide brush strokes, whereas bitter peach is more like details. So one is like a sledgehammer and the other is like a, a little bitty tiny hammer. So which one you'll like more is really dependent on what you're after. If you want more of the peach, you want more of the sweetness, bright peach will be better for you. If you want the one that's going to be the highest quality, that has the most nuance, bitter peach is going to be better for you. My wife actually prefers bright peach because it does have so much more of that sweet candied peach in the opening and mid. It just immediately grabs her attention, whereas bitter peach is a little more airy and a little more subtle. Not that it's a weak fragrance, but comparing the two. Now, I myself don't get too much of that powderiness or anything from bright peach, uh, but one thing I did notice is that if you spray it on really heavy, then it can take a little bit of a turn where you notice more of the patchouli coming out compared to that peach note. So instead of it just being all that sweetness that I've been mentioning, you get some patchouli that comes in and it's got like a little earthy undertone to it. So if you spray a whole boatload of this on, more of that's gonna come through and then it can kind of muddle what you might potentially like about the fragrance, which should, could cause some issues. In my overall opinion is that Bright Peach, for the price, again, like 10% of the Tom Ford is awesome. It doesn't have that chemical edge to it. It doesn't have that off-putting, you know, 30 seconds to three or four minutes that you sometimes get in the openings of some clones or cheaper fragrances. You don't get that here. It's uh, one of those scents that's very pleasant right away. As I've said a couple times, but just to drive it home, obviously the higher quality ingredients are in the Tom Ford. And yes, the Bright Peach basically is just ramping some aspects of Bitter Peach up to 11 to kind of help make up for parts that are left out from the original. But I like the parts that they chose to ramp up. So I don't know that I have a problem with that. Bright Peach is going to be more a spring, summer, fall fragrance. So you can get a lot of use out of it, more of a daytime scent than a nighttime scent. It is definitely a unisex fragrance, probably leans a little bit feminine just because in general, uh, fragrances like this with a very sweet candy kind of peachy note are going to be perceived as you know feminine leaning. But I think a guy can pull that off just like Bitter Peach. And in terms of performance, Bright Peach is right there with Bitter Peach. It's certainly not weaker off my skin, especially in the opening. In the opening, Bright Peach actually outperforms Bitter Peach for me. And again, it's just because it is so very unapologetically sweet with a, a little freshness to it, but mainly sweet. So you'll get above average longevity here, lasts a long time off my skin, good performance, good projection above average with that as well. And keeping all this in mind, even though I said you could wear this during the summer, don't go crazy heavy with it in the summer because you do get good performance here. And as I mentioned, if you go pretty heavy with this, it can start to kind of get off-putting. Smells better to me when you apply it moderately or even a little bit lighter than you might normally do. If you go real heavy, mm, doesn't smell quite as nice. So there we go, bright peach, Mason Alhambra. This is a much better bang for your buck than the OG. And I would say that if you like this one, but you want a fragrance that's gonna give you a little twist, 
while being a great alternative to this, scoop this up. And if you liked bitter peach, but you wish it was a little sweeter and more focused on the peach, check out bright peach. Again, the name pretty much tells you everything. Bitter peach is what it says, a little more bitter with more going on. Bright peach just focused fully on being as bright and sweet as it can be. All right, that is it. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another Friday video. See you later.